Hey everyone, Active Sin here, and I've got some news articles for Star Wars Battlefront, and neither of them are good. So let's get into it. First off, it turns out that Star Wars Battlefront will not have a built-in voice chat option for the console or PC version. Yes, that's right, you heard me. An online multiplayer team-based shooting game does not have a native voice chat option, but instead they want you to use other methods. Here's what they had to say. Team communication on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will rely on each console's built-in party system for in-game chat. According to EA, and EA also confirmed the lack of voice chat on PC, answering a question on Twitter, telling gamers if they want to chatter with teammates, they'll need their favorite third-party software to communicate with friends on PC. And yes, that's true, you can use the built-in chat system on the Xbox One and the PS4, and you can use a third-party software like Skype for the PC. But, the problem is, you need to add random people onto your friends list before you can do so. And to me, that's a problem. I don't want to add random people to my friends list just to be able to chat with them for possibly one match. That's stupid. EA, you should have put an in-game chat option. This just seems lazy. Let me know what you all think of this. Now, on to the other news. EA has announced that Star Wars Battlefront will have a $50 season pass. Yes, you heard me. $50 season pass on a $60 online only shooting game. Well, $60 for you all in the US, for me in Canada, it's $80. So, what is in this season pass? Well, it grants access to four expansion packs, two week early access to each expansion pack, oh joy, and exclusive shoot first emote. So I guess that's like an icon that people can see that you bought the expansion pack <laughs> or the season pass, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's not very impressive at all. Uh, four expansion packs, which could literally just turn out to be some map packs and a few weapon skins. And having access to early access of two weeks doesn't seem like it is worth $50 on top of an already full price game that doesn't even have a campaign. Yeah, no thanks. I have cancelled my pre-order for this game. I played the beta, it's fun, but it sure as hell ain't $130 of fun. So I will go stick with Black Ops 3 and Halo 5 for my shooters for the rest of the year. At least those games give you a full experience. Let me know what you all think of this, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.